What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Stephanie, and welcome to episode five of Hauling Hustler. I've collected a bunch of PR packages here. This might be the most PR packages that I've filmed in one video. I have like a whole pile here. I have, oh, it's really heavy. This, whoa, it's very dangerous, y'all. We got two Fenty packages in here. We got Mac up top, so many good things. Uh, this is actually a lubricant. Probably the first time I've ever been sent lube. So it's gonna be a very interesting video. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood, no matter your true pronoun or gender identity. Come join the family and please make sure to press the little bell button to get my notifications. All right, let's get started. I'm just gonna start this off with a bang. I'm gonna show y'all this Fenty package I got right here. They are seriously the masters of packaging for real. It's all textured and beautiful. Looks like one of those giant palettes. Ah, wow. So we have these three here. I believe these are all new Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Duos. This one is Seven Day Weekend and Poolside. Sandcastle Minted Mojito, Mimosa Sunrise, and Sangria Sunset. Oh my God. First of all, in terms of packaging, these are so much easier to open than the original. I think that they just changed up something in here because um, a lot of my kilowatts that I use, they're very difficult to open and close, but these are much easier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch all of these. I've kind of figured out a system now whenever I do these videos where I need to swatch a bunch of things all at once. I have a wet towel right here a dry towel, and then I also have makeup wipes as well. So that's a system that I've kind of found and I just keep the wet towel like on my leg. <laughs> Mimosa Sunrise, Sangria Sunset, then next up is Mint Mojito, Sand Castle, and then Seven Day Weekend and Poolside, like that. I think the Sand Castle one's the most like, I don't know, I don't know what you call normal color. Um, but all the rest of them look so crazy. And like, I literally just dipped into them and then did that. So that's the result there. And then the rest of the items in the package, we have a Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer here. And then we have the foundation, the powder with a little brush as well. You know, I haven't even tried out the foundation because they did send me another one last time, but it was really, really light. So this time they sent me 200, I'm, I think this might be too light again. I need to just go into Sephora and try it out myself. That looks pretty light, yeah. I think I need to go like one or two shades darker than this. So yeah, I haven't ever been able to actually try out this foundation, but I definitely will do that. The other Fenty item, which I've had for a while, and again, like I saved up all these items because I was like, okay, I'm gonna film a video, I'm gonna film a video, and just didn't get around to it, but this is, the Fairy Balm, we have the Kabuki brush, and we have the actual body lava up in here, plus a towel, super cute. Yeah, it's one of these like round towels, and it says, who needs clothes? Maybe you could put this down when you're <laughs> putting all this stuff and you're dowsing yourself in body lava. Okay, let's open up the body lava first. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is in who needs clothes? Makes sense. I have yet to actually try this product out, so I am stoked right now. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty, I could tell. It came out and it was like, so sparkly. It actually really matches my nail color right now. Oh, wow. Mmm, it is like, golden with like rose goldy in there. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna open up Rosé on Ice, which is the Fairy Balm right here. How pretty. I forgot what this looked like. This whole thing is a poof. Is it just ready to use right now? Oh, it is. It smells so good. Okay, this might be weird, but it it's like vanilla. It smells like, if you've ever been to Vegas and if you've ever been in like the Delano or the Wynn, certain hotels in Vegas all smell the same, but it smells really good. 
really weird. I hope you can see the sparkle there. But it's really pretty. I really like that. And I bet if you put it on top, ooh. These are meant to go hand in hand for sure so that the sparkles can really like stick to the skin. Wow. That's so pretty. I feel like this summer is a summer that I've actually been remembering to put like body things on. I can just stick it over here, all over. This is pretty nice because you don't have to dip it into anything. I remember watching a video where somebody uh, cut this open too and there's a lot of product in there. So I will definitely be putting this right on my vanity. Oh my gosh, thank you so much Fenty Beauty. I love your stuff. I totally forgot about the kabuki brush, which is meant to put the body lava on, but I think you could just rub it on with your fingers too. But I will definitely be trying this out. This is such a cute little brush here. I like how they made the bristles like a lavender color. It's very, very soft. Nice. This next package is the only one that I opened up and already used a product from it because I was just so excited when I got it. This is the Too Faced. <laughs> Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Look, this is, you can imagine how many products are in here. Whoa, I think I got every color. We got a whole range, y'all. There are a lot of colors in here. I was so stoked to get this because I opened up the pamphlet and right here, we have Jackie Ina right in the middle. She helped Too Faced develop some foundation shades to really expand their shade range. Uh, I just really look up to Jackie so much. She's such an advocate for black women and women of color in the beauty space. And she's truly a pioneer of inclusivity in the beauty community and the beauty space. So when I got this, I already knew she was working on this, but I didn't know I was gonna get it a couple days ago. So of course I had to try it out right away. And today I am actually wearing light beige. I put it back, but I believe I'm light beige here. Yes, this is the one I've been using. So this is what the individual concealer looks like. It's a pretty big concealer. It's like double the size of my NARS one that I use a lot. And we got a nice, big applicator there. I use it today wherever I use foundation, under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, chin, on my forehead. I think this is a pretty good color for me right now. I could go a little bit lighter or a little bit darker. So I'm gonna grab uh, the ones on either side of this. But so far, I really like it. If I end up loving this product, which I'm already loving it right now, it doesn't break up weird or anything. It sits so nicely on the skin. I'll be talking about this more. But yeah, I am just so happy that Jackie got to work with Too Faced on expanding their shade range. It's like, it's just wonderful, it's awesome. And I know I've mentioned this in a couple PR package hauls, but if you haven't heard of this before, in terms of all these colors I get, uh, a lot of my friends will come over and I have like a whole free pile area at my house, so they kind of pick through it and any items that haven't really been taken in a couple months, I go ahead and donate those items. So there's a really awesome women's shelter, just I think like 10 minutes from me, seven, 10 minutes from me, and I just drop it off there. So yeah, that's what happens to any of the products that I don't personally use or that doesn't get taken from my friends. I have three MAC packages, so I'll go through these now. Here is an entire eyebrow styler. When I first started doing my eyebrows, the first item that I ever used was a MAC, it wasn't called a paint pot, but it was the gel that I used with a brush. So they gave me a few colors here, I think, to choose from. So they gave me a few of their Shape and Shade brow tints, and oh! We have some Shape and Shade brow tints as well as eyebrow stylers. So I'm gonna try and find one that I think is the closest match to me right now and then show you. Okay, I just picked out two colors and I realized there's still a bunch of Fenty left on my hand and on my arms. And I just scrubbed it with this, like the damp towel. I also tried it with the makeup wipe and a dry towel and it's still sticking to my skin. Like I can feel it on my skin. I mean, that's really good, clearly, because it's sticking, but that's crazy that it doesn't wanna come off. It's still super sparkly and highlighty. Okay, anyways, I'm just gonna try and do this on top. You can see like I kind of scrubbed my hand there. 
just a very straightforward eyebrow pencil right there. So this is the eyebrow styler in Lingering. And then we have a shape and shade brow tint. So you apply along the brow hairline, building color as desired. Use liquid liner to fill and define and the powder to shape and gently set brows. Whoa. So here we have a liquid part here and a powder part here, I think. So there's that. And then here. It's very, very light, but that's what I want actually. I don't want it to look like, you know, a liquid liner. And then let's try out this little powder part. Yeah, it's like powder on the end of a little, little nubby guy. Very interesting. I'll definitely be trying this out. I love trying out new brow products and MAC has always been really great in terms of brow stuff. Next item from MAC is this Oh Sweetie collection. How cute that is. And we have a bunch of lip colors along with a bunch of cookies. My fingers look so contorted right now. We have seven colors right here. I believe that they are all quite metallic. So let me swatch just a couple of these. What does that smell? Do they all have different smells or are they all the same smell? They all have different smells. Okay, this one definitely smells like caramel. Which was, what was this one called? This one is called banana muffins. Yeah, this one smells like bananas. Whoa, this is cool. Okay, I've never seen a company come out with a collection where all the items have different smells. That's really cool. This one is creamy peach pie. Mm. Oh, this one definitely smells the best to me. I love peach scented items, like the Too Faced peach collection. Ooh, and I really like that color too. Okay, so up top we got the banana one caramel, and then the peach pie one. That is so wild. They have coconut macaroon, death by chocolate, raspberry pavlova, and strawberry mousse. Okay, I'm just gonna smell the coconut one. Cause coconut scented things are definitely my fave too. Oh yeah, that smells awesome. This one looks like it would be a little bit light for me though. There's a coconut one too, but yeah. Like I said, I've never seen a company come out with a collection with all different scents. I feel like that takes a lot of extra like work and development, so that's really cool. All right, last MAC collection here, I saved the best for last, is the Aaliyah collection. This collection was released with Aaliyah's sister, Rashad, so that's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna pull everything out of this pouch. In this collection, I have four lip glosses here, two lip liners, four lipsticks, and then we have a palette and a bronzer. So pretty nice rounded out collection. Let's do some swatches. For the glosses at the top, we have Brooklyn Born. I actually don't know the name of the second one because the label fell off. Uh, but then the third one is At Your Best You Are, and then One in a Million. For the lipsticks from the top, we have Try Again, Hot Like, more than a woman and then street thing. The lip liners are follow your heart and never more. I'm actually really interested in the like purpley one and also like that orangey gloss. And the two darkest colors actually have like iridescent purples in them. I hope you could see that, but they're really, really pretty. And now we're going into the palette here. I feel like this is just a really beautiful like basic kind of palette actually. Sometimes with MAC collections, some of the colors are just really out there and it's for very specific looks, but this is a kind of palette where you could really mix a lot of these colors together. Just do a few swatches, random ones here. Yeah, as always, just really smooth and pigmented. That purple is really beautiful. And I like how this taupey color actually has some really nice like golden shimmer to it as well. So I'll definitely be diving into this. And then finally we have the Baby Girl Bronzing Powder. This looks like a really, really great bronzer for me. And it has this really, again, that kind of really pretty iridescence to it. Quite light on my skin there. 
what I think would be a great bronzer for me. So yeah, that's the whole Aaliyah collection. I'm really excited to try all these items out as well. This one's definitely the most different, perhaps the most interesting box in the whole haul here. This is by Queen V. Look how cute that packaging is. We open it up. And we have a variety of products here. These are all products to help promote a healthy vagina. And on the back, uh, the founder, Lauren Steinberg, pretty much talks about how she really likes that her body is constantly changing and requires very specific products for her vagina. From keeping clean to preventing and fighting infections, I discovered that my Queen V is very complicated. So she wanted to create products that are all natural, convenient, easy to understand, and affordable because other things in the market are outdated and ineffective, which I very much agree with that sentiment. I feel like I've talked about that. I have a whole video about vagina health, pretty much. So um, she has all this stuff back here, which is really awesome. Of course, everything that I am talking about will be linked in the description box down below. So if you wanna learn more about these products or if you wanna purchase any of these products, everything that I can find will be linked. But let's go through the things that she has in here. So the first thing we have here is the spritzer. This is a hydrating and refreshing rose water spray designed to control odor and revive your queen V. I've never used like a spray like this before. The next thing in the box, which I think might be like the main thing, this is a probiotic. This probiotic helps promote a healthy queen V by balancing yeast and bacteria while also supporting your digestive immune and antioxidant health. This also has turmeric and grapefruit seed in there. I feel like the color is from the turmeric there, which is awesome. I ran out of my probiotics, so I will definitely be using this. Then we have the bombshell, which is a sweet orange and rosemary oil bath bomb here. This is all natural soothing bath bombs with essential oils aimed to relieve menstrual discomfort and soothe your queen bee and body. I feel like a lot of times I'm very wary about bath bombs because they might have like sparkles and stuff in them and it doesn't feel like it should be interacting down there. So it's cool that she created uh, one specifically for that. And then we have the V bar. This is a rose water and aloe infused peach balancing cleansing bar specifically formulated for your queen V. And then we have the most interesting product, which is PSI Lube You. This is an organic aloe-based lubricant. This has all natural ingredients that support, hydrate, and rejuvenate your queen bee. <laughs> Very convenient little squeezy bottle here. I'm gonna see what this is. Ooh, it's quite slippery. <laughs> it's very slippery and natural feeling. <laughs> Oh man, I hope my parents are not watching this right now. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all out there are huge advocates for just using water on your vagina when you're cleaning it because vaginas are supposed to be self-cleaning. But for me personally, and I know for a lot of people out there, our bodies are all different and we all have different needs. So some of us do need to use a cleanser and use some different products to help our bodies out. And if those items make us more comfortable, I think it's a-okay that we use them. So I am very interested in using these products because for me, I use the Sliquid uh, Vagina Wash and I would definitely use something like this bar. When it comes to something like this, I want them to be obviously all natural ingredients. So yeah, this is awesome. I'm very, very intrigued by all of these items and I'm 100% gonna be using them. All of them. It's Glam Glow sent me this package right here, which I cannot wait to use. This is their Instamud, a new 60 second pore refining treatment. 60 seconds, huh? Instamud is a foaming mask treatment that instantly refines pores and even skin tone, leaving skin smooth and soft in 60 seconds. This is like a little pump guy. If you'd like to see me try this out on Good Bad Trendy, let me know. I would definitely do that. I wanna try it anyway, so I could definitely do it for an episode of Good Bad Trendy for sure. Speaking of Good Bad Trendy, I got this box from Bliss. <laughs> Can you tell what product is in here? <laughs> Two products that I am quite familiar with now. We have the Poetic Wax and this softening treatment, which is their down below hair softening oil and bump minimizer. If you haven't seen that episode of Good Bad Trendy, I'll make sure to put it up in a card. It was a very interesting experience. Uh, Segundo and I wax each other and I really F up 
and I put way too much wax on him and I couldn't get a hold of it because he was so sweaty that I like couldn't rip it so I'm ripping it so slow and I just I I it was cringy it was super cringy so if you want to see me torture uh, my best friend Go ahead and click on that video. Here is a box from Urban Decay. We have a bunch of products here actually. Oh my gosh, we have two all-nighter sprays, a rebound spray, drop shot mix in facial oil, and matte me. There's two sprays in here because one of them has my name on it. How awesome is that? Thank you, Urban Decay. Oh, you know what? These all-nighter sprays are different. So I think the one with my name on it is the original, and then here I have the all-nighter Pollution protection. So this is environmental defense, time release, temperature control, makes your makeup last up to 16 hours and helps protect against oxidation due to pollution. Very cool. Their rebound spray is a collagen infused complexion prep priming spray. So you do it before your makeup. So you apply it to clean skin and then put your makeup on top so it's a primer. I definitely use a lot more primer so I'll be looking into this one. And then we have two more products here. This is the Drop Shot Mix-In Facial Oil. You're supposed to be able to mix this into your makeup to make it dewier, uh, more moisturized looking, but not oily. A few of my foundations are very, very dry, so this could be a cool option for me. And then, oh, this is just the Velvetizer. This is the mix-in medium that I really like. This one really makes your face look so velvety. I will try and find, I put this in a favorites before, definitely, and I'll make sure to link that video in a card as well where I talk about this, but you know what? I really haven't used this product recently, and I should. I'm gonna mix this into my uh, Too Faced foundation that I've been using a bunch, because it just adds this crazy velvety texture to your skin. I have a couple drugstore <laughs> packages to show you. I don't even know if I can pick this one up. It is so, Heavy. This is from CoverGirl. Oh my god. It is their True Blend Matte Made Foundation. It's like all of them in here. Here we go. Here are all the foundations. There we go. Holy crap. That's a lot of foundations in there. Um, how many do you think? I can't count from here, but they definitely gave me every single shade so I can figure it out. The one thing that really holds me back from finding uh, drugstore foundations is that I can never figure out what my shade is because you go to the drugstore and I don't want to swatch anything. I'm not trying to swatch anything at all. So now I can really figure it out. I just went ahead and grabbed one. So this is their True Blend Matte Made Foundation Comfort Matte Transfer Resistant. All glass bottles. Clearly, this one is M10. I'm just gonna squeeze it and see. This one actually might be a pretty good match for me. I just randomly tried to grab one and see, but it seems light on my hand, but that might be my face color, I don't know. I've heard really good things about this foundation. They have this whole pamphlet here that says, because we listen. So I feel like they really expanded their shade range for people of all different skin tones and colors. It says there are light, medium, tan, deep, warm, cool, and neutral undertones. It's awesome to see these companies really expanding their shade ranges for people of all different colors. I'm stoked for that. And they also gave four new bases. So here we have a skin smoothing one. I feel like this one's going to feel very slick, maybe like professional. We have a color neutralizing. We have a green here for people with redness. Pore minimizing. This one's a little purple one. And then we have illuminating, which is a peachy color. I, you know, I haven't really done too much stuff with CoverGirl, but I did recently just do a video with Rimmel, which was a get ready with me, and it was like a one brand get ready with me. I have enough stuff from CoverGirl now that I feel like I could do it for that too. So if you'd like to see me do a CoverGirl get ready with me, I would love to do it, because obviously <laughs> I now have a foundation that I can use. Next up, I have this really cute little bag from Garnier. Let's open up. I'm just gonna take out the biggest thing in here. 
which is a matching little travel pillow. What does it say? Wish you were here. Cute. I feel like these are the kind of things that you always lose though. Like I've lost so many of these in airports, but I actually like how it has a tie because typically they have snaps. So I'll like snap it onto my backpack and one time it just like unsnapped itself and I didn't know and I lost it. Oh, this one's actually really nice. I've also found that those ones that are super expensive, the one that's like memory foam, I've realized I don't like them as much as, like this one has the little, it's almost like foam that has been mashed up, you know what I mean? But it's stiffer. Like the memory foam ones, like when you try and sleep on it, it ends up sinking too much. But this one, because it's so stiff, but also it shapes to your, your face and your neck. It works better, so yeah. I'm excited to get that. Okay, so in here, let me just grab all the products out. I received two of these micellar waters. These are some of my favorite ways to take off my makeup. So here I have the original, and then this one I think is the waterproof one, yeah. These are great, they both work amazing for taking off your makeup, and I always want travel size, so I'm excited about this. Everything in here is travel size, clearly, it's a travel kit over here. We have the Micellar Water um, Makeup Removing Wipes, which again, very useful. Also very useful for videos like this where I'm swatching a ton of stuff. I have a mask here, the Super Purifying Charcoal Sheet Mask. I've actually never used this one. We have a Rose Water. This is their Soothing Facial Mist. They came out with this fairly recently. I used to use Rose Water a ton back in my like more hippy dippy days when I lived in uh, Davis, California. And I would only use products pretty much from like Whole Foods or I forget what it's called. It was like the, the co-op in Davis. I forget what it's called, but I used to only use products from there. Cause at the time also, I wasn't really using that many products or wearing makeup that much, but I love rose water. It's really refreshing. And a lot of people use it to set their makeup. Uh, this is 99% naturally derived ingredients and is vegan as well. They also gave me a couple little tools here. So we have the wet brush, which is a detangling brush. I've heard about this brush a ton. I feel like this is a very OG uh, YouTube like obsessed kind of thing. So many people love this, but I never got this. It was this and the other brush, the Tangle Teaser. Those were the two brushes that people were so obsessed with. And to be honest, like I've used a Tangle Teaser. I think it's fine, but I wasn't like crazy about it, but I did definitely use it a ton in the past. So maybe I'll be crazy about this one. And then they gave me this Skin Gym Facial Roller. This is the same concept as a Jade Roller, but I don't know what this is made out of. It just says it is a crystal facial roller. So not really sure what kind of crystal this is. I recently got a comment. I don't know if I just, I read it in passing too. So I apologize I didn't answer to you, but someone asked me if I would try out a Jade Roller for Good Bad Trendy. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll try this one. If you know the difference between using Jade and some other like stone or crystal, please let me know. Cause I don't know exactly what the difference is between jade and other stones. Like I know what it looks like, I know how it looks different, but I don't know uh, any beauty benefits. So yeah, those are all the things from Garnier. It was really cool, yeah, they just created this little summer travel kit for me. Maybe PR packages weren't meant to be filmed in natural light because it just takes too damn long so the light changes too much. But anyways, I only have a few more companies to go through. So the first one I wanna talk about is a, a natural Korean brand that sent me some stuff. It's called Papa Recipe. And I think this is their most intriguing thing that they sent me. It is a after honey, that's what it's called. It's a toothpaste that has propolis, propolis extract in it. It smells really interesting. It's minty with like a hint of honey. Very, very intriguing. I wonder if they put um, fluoride in there. It doesn't say because, I mean, it's all in Korean. I could use my Google Translate, but it, there's no ingredients in English, but I find that very intriguing. They also have a few uh, feet products or a couple of these here called Dead Foot. So one of them is a peeling mist. So this is a foot peeling mist that easily removes dead skin cells. So if you don't wanna do um, a baby foot peel like I did, you could try this one out. And they also have a dead foot loofah soap, which is a soap for feet that have refreshing texture, 
that enables exfoliation and cleansing, you can definitely see the loofah bits in that bar. So I got a bunch of their eggplant clearing peeling pad toner. This is a peeling pad toner that's supposed to be to really take away dead skin and smooth out the skin. And also from that collection, I got these two little eggplant clearing mud masks. Apparently eggplant is really good for acne as well. I had no idea. I've never used anything with eggplant in it, but it helps to remove sebum, without irritating the skin. I definitely meant to show this package earlier. This is from M Cosmetics. When I opened up the box, I immediately recognized the logo from Michelle Phan. I've never tried anything from M Cosmetics ever. These are advanced gel-based glosses with lacquer-like shine. The packaging is really cute, really straightforward. So let's just go ahead and swatch a few. It's like a pointed doe foot. So here we have Blood Moon, Magic Hour, Scarlet Night. Very high gloss glosses. Last but not least, I have a couple things from Rag and Bone, pretty awesome. So first I have a collection of their fine fragrances. I have never tried any of Rag and Bone's fragrances. I'm not even sure if I've ever even owned anything from Rag and Bone, now that I really think about it. But I did smell some of these. Which one was my favorite? I really love Cypress, I think. I think all these are quite like neutral scents. Yeah, that one smells so good. I'm excited to have this because whenever I travel, obviously I wanna bring a perfume or a scent with me. And I have some of those like really, really mini ones, the ones that are samples, but to be honest, those last like only a couple uses or like three uses. So these ones definitely have a bunch more uses in them. I also feel like this would be a really nice gift for somebody because you get a really, really good variety of scents in here. And then they also gave me a pair of sunglasses, which is so unexpected and so cool. And I definitely need it right now because the sun is shining through my house like no other. <laughs> These are really cool, right? I feel like they're very different for me, but even like with this outfit, it looks awesome because it has like that kind of light color here and then it has um, like a minty green on the sides and on the insides as well. Thank you, Rag Bone. This is a very pleasant, unexpected surprise. Definitely gonna be using these this summer. All right, y'all, thank you so much for sticking with me all the way to the end. This was kind of a shit show to be honest in terms of lighting and sound and everything. Sometimes videos just don't go the way that you plan, especially when it comes for some reason to these PR hauls. I feel like if anybody just watches a PR haul from me or this playlist, they're gonna be like, this girl is a mess. But I swear my other videos or a lot of my other videos are not like this. So again, I really appreciate all your support. Without you, I wouldn't be receiving all these awesome things and showing it to you. So thank you so much. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Like I said, if you watch all the way till here and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. They'll mean a lot to me. I love y'all and I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>